This mural uh, brings education uh, to our community. It brings education to the doorsteps of our community and highlighting some significant African Americans that contribute to society in a profound way. Hyatt Park is historically uh, a white park that actually practiced segregation. And as we thought about the changing demographics of that area, um, several people came to mind who lived in the proximity of the North Main area. One person was named Benjamin J. Mack. Uh, Mr. Mack once lived on Monticello Road. He once lived in an area called Ridgewood. Mr. Mack was a very active member of the Ridgewood Baptist Church, but he's probably best known as a staunch civil rights activist who developed a program in collaboration with a woman named Septima Clark of what was called Citizenship Schools. Deacon Mack and Ms. Clark recognized that African Americans were being deprived of the right to vote. And so they engaged in a campaign to prepare African Americans about the purpose of voting, how to register to vote, and then going out to vote. And so the mural on the Hyatt Park wall pays tribute to Benjamin Mack, a man who lived in that community. It pays tribute to Septima Clark, who Dr. King called the mother of the civil rights movement. And it also pays tribute to a pioneering journalist whose name was Lister Belt Middleton. Mr. Middleton lived on the Hyatt Park area. He was the producer of a pioneering television show called For the People. And in that show, he showcased African-American history he showcased African history. And so now the uh, young men and women who enter Hyatt Park will know more about the important roles of Benjamin J. Mack, Septima Poinsett Clark, and Listervelt Middleton. It means a lot that the work that he did because he dearly loved his people and he loved putting out the African and the African American history and getting the truth of that out to people. So. To have this honor, to have him memorialized like this means a lot to us. Long before the birth of, of this country, uh, long before the birth of this city, uh, the African American community has been actively involved in helping build uh, the, the, the culture and, and, the, uh, and the economy of Columbia, South Carolina. These murals tell that story. I love this mural in particular because of the role that Listervelt Middleton played in my development as a young man, as a, as, a, as a young man trying to understand his, his place and space in the, in the, in the world. Uh, he's a contemporary. Uh, he, was, he was a leader, an educator. Uh, he was a strong man uh, who, who, who made sure that we all understood uh, the, the internal power that uh, we all had. We were able to lift up the names of these ancestors, these, these community members that have been leaders here in Hyatt Park um, and celebrate black history of Hyatt Park. It's a way of saying thanks also to uh, you know, people who have just honestly touched other people's lives and uh, seeking nothing in return um, and helping to a lot of times make a difference in those people's lives. We're fortunate that you know we're adding we're able to add murals in city parks that are actually located within neighborhoods and we I think that it is important that murals and other forms of public art be added to neighborhoods because I think it can add so much to the character of a neighborhood and really represent what a neighborhood is all about, showcase them and their identity as a, as a community, and also increase the amount of people that may be spread beyond the downtown area to seek out public art and hear the stories of Columbia beyond just the downtown core.